Hello everyone, this is Jens Papadopoulos from Beast in Black and you're listening to Metal Mixtape. Hi, this is Steve Grimmett, you're listening to the Metal Mixtape. This is Steve Zanzo Susan from Exodus and you're listening to the Metal Mixtape, so turn it up loud and start a mosh pit. And welcome to the Metal Mixtape, it's the boy, it's the Don DJ Ramo, this had to bring you interviews and reactions, and if you know the channel, you know we've been published all around the world, we've interviewed bands like Trivium, Pull Up My Valentine, Deathlock, Judas Priest, Megadeth, Exodus, Sepultura. We've interviewed hundreds of bands on the show. And if you know the channel, you know that I throw my own heavy metal festivals based out of Southern Oregon, like Metaphor Metal Fest and Hollow Fest. And if you know the channel, you know I have been singing and playing guitar for 20 years. I am here because my favorite YouTuber in the whole world, and Davey, if you watch this, I love you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I don't normally uh, react to other YouTubers, but this is my first time ever reacting to another, like, YouTuber, YouTuber, which, because the thing is, Davey, you inspire that living hell out of me. I love all your videos. I always hit that slap button. And any, and you're just one of my favorite people in the whole world on YouTube. And you've been doing YouTube for so long. So I just want to say I greatly appreciate you. And I had to do this one because uh, you said, these Mexican basses must be stopped. And I am a Mexican guitarist. Not a bassist, but I am Mexican. So I wanted to do this. And also, uh, as your cover, you had uh, Alejandra from The Warning. So I was like, all right, so he's going to be maybe talking about the warning a little bit here. So you know what I mean? Why not do it, Davey? I love you from the bottom of my heart. Go support Davey's channel. Go slap that like button. Go subscribe. And also, if you like this reaction, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys ready? These Mexican bases must be stopped by Davey504 here on the Metal Mixtape. Slappers, welcome to a new episode of Bass, which means bass around the world. <laughs> An epic series where we choose one country and we check together if they have enough bass. Today we are going to Mexico, Mexico, a country with 127 million subs. So after this video, I'm expecting 127 million subs from you, Mexicanian fans. With this series, I'm hoping to connect all the countries in the world through the power of music. I'm joking. The final goal of this series is to check which country is better. Mexicans, the future of your country depends on this video. Go there and like a whole and give a comment. Now, before we even begin, the Mexican flag looks very similar to the Italian flag. Mexico is copying me. And before we even even begin, I'm gonna do something I've never done in this kind of videos. I'm actually going to Mexico to make this video. Check this out. No, I'm in Mexico. Epico. Mexico has a custom bass called Guitarron. Check this out. The name Guitarron is pretty sus, but thick strings and no pick. That's a bass. Mexican bass. Let's check another Guitarron video. Why they are all playing the Super Mario song? That's an Italian song. Okay, one more guitar run video. I swear, if it's another Super Mario song, I'm gonna end this video now. Not every country has their own signature bass. I'm proud of you, Mexico. All right, first Mexico. Mexican bassist, Tiago Andre. Insane slap technique here, epic. Insane tapping skills. I already know about this bassist because he was lucky enough to play with another iconic bassist, Davide Bial. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
approved. Tiago, Andre, estoy orgulloso de ti. By the way, I actually just released a new channel where I only speak Spanish. Make sure to check that out for a Spanish voice review. Next, Mexican bassist Ale Villarreal. And she is recently getting extremely popular on social media. Cool bass line. Oh, por Dios. 15 million views. Know what? Very cool stage presence, very nice bass lines. But if she doesn't slap, I'm not gonna prove. Approve. Next ah Mexican bassist ah is a legendary bassist, Abraham ah Laboriel. <laughs> Incredible slap soul, very fun to watch. Who is that? Mind blowing skills. So many amazing bases <laughs> in Mexico. Next one, Hernan Hernandez. <laughs> Unfortunately, most of the video I found they all look terrible, but it looks like he has some amazing looking basses. This looks epic. Next basses, Keio Gonzalez. <laughs> Very thick sound and very nice slaps. He has a lot of amazing bass covers, but unfortunately I cannot show them here or YouTube is gonna copyright strike and I won't earn enough USD dollars to drink water. Make sure to check him out. Next, Luis Guillermo. <laughs> He managed to play with Davide Biale too. Very nice bass skill, but he has a six string bass. He's cheating. He even made Davide Biale angry at the end. Unacceptable. Next, Rudy Machorro. <laughs> Amazing groove. Muy bueno. And last Mexican basis. A lot of you asked me to put Rob Trujillo in this Mexican basis video. But he was born in the USA, but at the same time, a lot of you said he is Mexican. So what do you think about it? Next, Lalo Carrillo. I need some epic slap bass solo. <laughs> 
some epic slap solo it is. Approved. Anyway, that was the last Mexican bassist. Who do you like the most in this video? Let me know in the comments right now. Mexico really impressed me by the amount of slap I found. All right. So I'm gonna rate Mexico 5 tacos out of 5. Oh my god! Congrats. As a gift to you, Mexicanian fans, I just composed this original song for you. Original song here. Did you like it? That was it for this episode of Bass Around the World. Remember to check out all these bases and check out my new channel, David504 in Espanol. Which country should we review next? Let me know and I will see you in the next episode. Stay funky bros. <laughs> Alright, that was Davey504. Uh, I love Davey. Davey is so awesome. Davey, I love you so much, dude. Like I said, this is my first time ever uh, doing a reaction of yours, but you know what? You said these Mexican bases must be soft, so I like it. Este video está tan chingón. Yo pienso que él hizo... Davey504 es el mejor persona en YouTube de música, en mi opinión. No hay otra persona que a mí me gusta ver más que él. Y, y porque está tan chistoso, pero también es un músico tan chingón. Y estoy muy feliz que habló un poquito de Alejandra aquí, ¿no? Dijo que su estilo está muy bueno y, y está muy bueno cuando está uh, tocando. Y eso es real, you know? I also love that uh, he talked about Alejandra and her stage presence, you know? Because we know we support the one on this channel. But he mentioned so many famous uh, Mexican bassists on here that were just incredible. I love it. And Davey504 is just so damn funny. Davey, I love you from the bottom of my heart. Like I said, I normally don't... Re this is actually my first time reacting to another person doing reactions but i love you so much dude you're my favorite youtuber in the whole world so i saw the video this morning and i was like dude i have to do a reaction to it because honestly i love laughing at your stuff dude you you do i i love i love all your reveals i love how uh just everything that you do dude all the bass playing you're one of the best bass players in the world but you're just also just such a good person and just so funny i love you from the bottom of my heart davy and i love you guys from the bottom of my heart there's a hundred thousand reactors on here and the fact that you chose to be here it makes you family i love you guys from the bottom of my heart um uh, yeah let me know uh what you thought about his analysis on alejandra and just how you, his analysis on mexican bass players in general i love you guys viva mexico los quiero a todos uh, déjame saber qué piensas, uh, tu opinión en lo que dijo de Alejandra. Déjalos en los comments y los veo en el próximo video. Los quiero mucho con todo mi corazón. Yo soy Omar Rodríguez. I am Omar Rodríguez and I'm out.